Welcome back to the channel. I got a special gold nugget I'm dropping for you guys today because I just got done filming some course update videos and I wanted to let you know how to fill out a GTIN exemption form inside of Amazon Seller Central. And actually before I jump behind my computer and show you that, I just wanna let you know where we are at today, right outside of CenturyLink Field here in Seattle, Washington. We decided we're gonna film some course updates and now I just thought I'd share the wealth bringing you guys a little YouTube video. So let's just jump behind my computer and we will hop right into setting up a GTIN exemption for your Amazon FBA products. So first I wanna tell you why getting a GTIN is so important and how it can actually save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars, especially if you're just planning to do private label products, which is exactly what I talk all about on my channel. So the first thing you wanna keep in mind is if you want a legitimate barcode, you don't really need that unless you're selling your products in a everyday store like a Walmart or a Fred Meyer. Any of these kind of stores, you're gonna need a product with a UPC barcode on the back of that. And if you're doing it that official, you're gonna need to come to the GS1 US barcode database where you're gonna be able to come down and you can actually purchase barcodes here. They are quite expensive though and this is why I recommend you don't do this if you're just selling products on Amazon, which I'll explain in a little bit. Now getting just between one and 10 barcodes is gonna cost you $250. You won't have to pay any money to get this GTIN exemption, which I'm gonna show you how to do in Amazon. But if you're ever gonna to plan to sell your product in a brick and mortar store, you're of course gonna to need to come here and get a legitimate GS1 certified barcode. There are third party websites that I used to go through like Barcodes Mania, where you can get a UPC code for like $5. And some have said they've never had problems with this. I've even gone as far as going to eBay and buying 100 UPC codes for $5. And those have never failed me on Amazon. And what's prompted me to make this video is that some of my students are having trouble making their listing with the UPC codes that they get from eBay. Now to request a GTIN, it's very simple. Let's break that down right now. All you have to do is hover over the inventory tab and come down to add a product, which will take you to this page right here. Now, instead of adding your product, you're actually gonna come down to this lower left corner and read where it says, what is a GTIN? And you'll go ahead and press learn more right there. That's gonna take you to this page where I advise you just listen to their quick video they have, read through some of this information and see what is required for you to actually get the GTIN and apply for it. It's actually really simple. What it asks you to have is a minimum of two images of all sides of the product. So if you just take a picture of your product or the box that has your logo on it, that's all you're gonna need. And I'll even show you a way where you don't even need a brand name to sign up for a GTIN in just a second. But after you kind of read through this, you're able to come down and see where it says apply for a GTIN exemption. So let's go ahead and click on that. So it's at this stage where we're gonna go ahead and enter our product category. So I'm gonna come in and click on one I haven't done yet. So I'll just go ahead and say outdoors. And this is just for example purposes. So this is where I'm gonna put in a fake brand name. Uh, if you're not selling a branded product, you can just type in generic. And the best part of these things again is that once you get certified for one product category under one brand, you can automatically make new listings over and over again without ever having to get a UPC code. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Just hang tight. And for this case, I'm just gonna say, cool kids for my brand and I'll say check eligibility. Now it shows me that there is a check mark next to this. I'm allowed to sign up for this brand in outdoors for an exemption. And let's say continue to submit proof. Now it says, do you have a supporting letter from the brand owner or manufacturer publisher? And if you say yes here, you can go ahead and actually upload it right here. And the cool thing is they have a little sample letter, which I'm just opening up right here. And it shows you all you have to fill out, just some info on your name and your manufacturer's name and stuff like that and their signature. Once you send that into Amazon, you're good to go. But an even easier way to get past this is just to say, no, I don't have the letter. And this is where you're just gonna type in your brand name and then you can come and press upload and you'll just upload two images of your product. And if you have a picture of your logo stickered on your product, that comes in handy. That's exactly what I sent to Amazon myself. And within 24 hours, my request was completely approved. So I really hope this gave you guys some insight on how to set up your listings without ever having to go through the trouble of having to purchase a UPC code if you're just trying to sell private label products on Amazon. This has really saved me a lot of time and money now that I can just make one submission and it's gonna be a blanket that covers all of the products under my brand in any certain category. So the second I'm trying to make a new listing, I won't have to go type in any product ID and fill that position in. 
So I really hope this helped. Drop again down below in the comments if you had any questions or if you're still having trouble with this and I'd be happy to reach out and help you. I hope you like this quick video and you please drop a thumbs up and stay tuned and subscribe for more. See you later. Peace.